name is your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? If you are new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Hey y'all, how you doing? Come on in from your party. Thank you for joining me today. Y'all saw the title. I will be reviewing a new unit by Sensational, Miss... Daisha in the number two color. Daisha is from their infamous What Lace collection. A lot of us are very familiar with that collection. When it came out a few years ago, it really took the YT by storm due to the impeccable hairline. I have tried a good number of What Lace units and it's been a toss up. Sometimes I really like them and then other times I had my issues with it. If you want to check out those videos and my thoughts on it, there is a What Lace playlist in my description box down below. And also just know in general that anything that you see in this video, any items that I use, any tools that I use for my hair, you can find them all in the description box in case you're interested in purchasing. Now as far as this little cutie on my head right here, this is by Outre. This is the Nisha Halfwig H301. I love this wig so much. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's full. She's textured. And y'all know I love me some texture. I have an entire playlist dedicated to texture wigs that y'all can check out in my description box. But yeah, y'all, she is everything. And she's only like $15, $16. So I'll leave the link to that wig in the description box. So if you want to know about this wig, my update is that she's bomb. Yeah, she tangles a little bit at the nape area, but that's nothing that a quick comb out can't fix. I mean, do y'all see her? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, I love this Nisha. She's definitely one of my favorites of 2020, even though I got her at the very end of 2020, and she still is in 2021. But I'm excited to try out Miss Daisha and see what she's hitting for. She is a textured unit. Also, keep in mind that these wet lace units not come with HD lace. Keep them guessing. I'm a little bit concerned about the hairline because I noticed on Letitia when I reviewed that unit, that hairline wasn't super pre-plucked. This collection is known for their pre-plucked hairline. It honestly was the best pre-plucked hairline on synthetic wigs for a while. But then I noticed with Letitia, it wasn't the same type of care given. I don't know if it's because she's a textured unit. Ugh. That's neither here nor there. We're gonna find out today if it's still hitting or not. So let's just pull out the pack. So this is Miss Daisha, and if you're unfamiliar with this line, this is a 13 by 6 frontal. There's so many styles available, but this is a textured style. They have on the stock card, you can see the difference between typical hairlines. It also comes in a number of colors, flamboyage colors. Now for me, I'm not a huge fan of the flamboyage colors for me. I mean, I like Money Piece Hazel. Um, I like flamboyage mocha and auburn on some people, but... I don't know. I only care for a few of them colors. So from what I could tell, y'all, she looks absolutely gorgeous. Wow, the texture is beautiful. Definitely giving me a kinky straight vibe. And it does come with your two combs here in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable straps. Now let's take a look at this hairline, okay? So from what I could tell, I mean, it looks... It looks pretty pre-plucked, y'all. Y'all see that? This style actually reminds me of Janet Collection June because June also does like this flip curl here in the front and the rest of it is just straight with this bend at the end. I just kind of feel like, you know, either give me the flip curl or just give me the straight. Overall, it's pretty, but I just rather have this flip curl all throughout the unit. A lot of y'all know I like when my curls are consistent throughout the unit. Sometimes I think it's kind of weird when they do curl and then just straight down like this, but not a huge deal. But this looks good. And this is the lace. Now we know that what lace definitely had that ashy white lace. This is looking a little bit more khaki colored though, so I think they kind of changed it a little bit. When I first tried the what lace collection two years ago, your girl did not, <laughs> oh my God, it was it was a struggle, but I since have learned about tint spray and I will definitely be using my Evan tint spray in the color darkest brown. This is the deepest shade they have available and I think it just works so well for me. And I will also be using my tried and true Maybelline CoverGirl D90, yeah, true blend in the D90 color. This 
helps blend so well. So let me take off Miss Nisha and let's see what we're working with. Oh, Lord, I love that wig so much. Let me know in the comments how you all are doing this week. We've made it halfway through the week, right? What have we accomplished thus far? If anything, let me know in the comments. I said I was going to record at least three, three videos this week. Um, hopefully by the time y'all see this, I would have done two. <laughs> so we shall see. Oh, one thing you should know about this lace here, it's actually pretty thin and stretchy. I do like this. This lace on the Wet Lace collection now because I just like the stretchiness and it seems super thin, so that means it should melt like crazy. So, if y'all are ready to see me put Homegirl on, whew, this is what she's looking like just straight on my head. Okay. All right. So this is this is the before. If you like parting space, this unit does give you a 13 by 6, which gives you room to kind of play around with it, play around the wig and do different styles. Right now, I would say, let me see, when does the track start? The track seems to start like right underneath here. So you could do a nice little flip over action if you wanted to, as y'all saw in the intro. I am happy with the parting space. I love the length. I love long textured hair. On my 5'3 frame, this is falling past my breasts. So definitely like a good 22 inches almost and definitely down my back. I mean, y'all see her, Deja is absolutely gorgeous. Now the one kind I do have to this unit though, has to do with the style. I just really want these curls all throughout the unit. That's really it. Because you see here, it's like totally straight, like blown out straight. And then you just have like one curl, two curls, four curls total in the front. And I guess they want you to like kind of brush it over like this and then have it go backwards like that, like how you saw on the stock card, but just put it throughout the unit. <laughs> That's all I ask because if I wanted a blown out straight unit, I would just buy Altre Shanice. I reviewed that unit twice last year, absolutely adore 
that unit. However, there's a difference between Shanice and Daisha. Shanice is definitely fuller and I wanted it to look a little less dense. So I did use my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer to kind of lessen the density and after that we were good to go. With Daisha, I don't feel a need to use the blow dryer. I, I really love the density on this. It, it feels perfect. Like this is perfect full hair to me. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Oh man. She's, she's a vibe right now. She is definitely reminding me of Janet Collection June. A lot of us did like that wig on the YT because she was super pretty and super affordable. So if you like June and you want a 13 by 6 parting space area to do a little bit more to her, then you'll probably be interested in this wig. One thing I realized is that there are not a lot of long textured wigs on a frontal. Like we have quite a few that are, you know, like the lace front, but as far as the 13 by 6, Right now, all we really have is Outre Shanice, Sensational Letitia, now we have Sensational Daisha, and I can't think of another frontal textured unit right now. Can y'all? Let me know in the comments. I can't think of one. I, I love the long textured units, so when they come out, especially on the frontal, I'm like quick to see what's really good. So I had to try Miss Daisha out. I think she's very pretty. Now let's talk about price. This wig does retail for $56 on most websites. Ebony Lime, however, has it for $48. But if you want color on most websites, you're definitely hitting the $60 price range. So for $60, you know, when One Lace first came out, I feel like I was more willing to pay those prices because they were new with the 13 by 6 frontal and the What Lace hairline, all that was so new. But now that we have other options, like now we have the Outre Melted Hairline series where you can get the frontal effect for at least $10 cheaper. Now that we have those options, I'm not as willing to pay the $56. I mean, I bought this with my own coin, but would I buy it again? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think she's beautiful. She's, she's definitely a gorgeous unit. This lace is melting. Like, it's definitely giving me HD even though it's a, it's a synthetic unit, but... It really just depends on what you want. Like if I'm feeling like I want hairline and scalp and parting space and all that, I might consider paying the money. But if I want something simpler, especially if I'm a beginner and I don't want to necessarily deal with all that, I just kind of want to plop it on, do a little something and then go, I probably would opt for something cheaper. So just think about what you actually want in a unit as you assess these wigs and assess the prices. At the end of the day, the price is the price. You know what I'm saying? So it's just up to you whether you're going to choose to pay it or not. Also, as I'm looking at myself, I don't know why I didn't say this before, this is definitely Sensational Morgan like reincarnate. Now that I'm looking at it, they basically turned Morgan into a kinky straight wig. What? Sensational, you got ass slick. <laughs> and a lot of us love Morgan too on the YT. So if you are into Sensational Morgan, I think you'll really love this wig as well. Overall, I feel like such a baddie in this unit. I can't even trip. You know, Sensational really got on my nerves with the, with the Letitia unit because I just don't understand why when companies think textured hair, it has to be so much volume all the time. And Letitia was just giving me all these type of pageant curls. Once I got her together, she was gorgeous, but I'm like, I didn't feel like doing all that work at the time. But Morgan's little cousin over here, Daisha, I, I, I can get with her. <laughs> I like this. I really do. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, please. I also want to see how she looks with the half up, half down. Like, really quick, let's just do that. Oh, let me see. Every time I get rid of my middle part, I'm just like, oh, no, come back. Oh, God, like, y'all. Okay. This is, this is, this is hitting. Woo! <laughs> Naomi Campbell, woo! <laughs> All right, let me toss this into a quick half up, half down. I cannot really see myself, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm back with this quick half up, half down. I mean, <laughs> this is really cute. Y'all see me? Okay, I see you, sensational. Y'all trying to win me back or not? Nah. <laughs> this is pretty, y'all, and y'all see the lace, right? Let me get up again. 
This is melting pretty well. If you see any crust, don't mind me. <laughs> it's not like a perfect install because I was rushing low key, but it's, it's good enough for me. Let me know if Daisha is going on your wish list because I... I'm happy with my purchase. Another thing I wish was a little bit different though was this um, ear to ear. It doesn't come all the way down to my ear here. Like on one side it does and I'm like, did I put it on wrong? But I don't think I did. But this side is stopping short. I need to check on that, but I guess I'll just kind of cover it up. <laughs> but yes, y'all, let me know how you feel about Sensational What Lace Daisha. I'm feeling her. I think she's very pretty. I'm glad that Morgan came back on the scene. Hello, textured Morgan. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you are new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button right over there. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. There is another unit that's coming out by Sensational that is also textured. That style looks super pretty. So I'm definitely going to cop that. So you will see that when it drops. Just know that Gladys will be reviewing that wig. And if you want to see me more texture wigs, definitely check out my texture wig playlist. Thank y'all so much for joining me today for this video for Mia Party. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!